Hey everyone, welcome to the Lily Farm. So uh, I just got done with a little bit of a project uh, we're going to use around the farm. This is it. If you're not familiar with it, this is a hand baler. Uh, we're going to make square bales um, with it. We can uh, use this to either make um, regular hay bales or uh, what we'll probably primarily use it for is going to be um, straw bale. Um, pine straw bale. Um, we've got a lot of pine in the back, uh, five of the property, and uh, it's great for, you know, gardening mulch. Uh, we're going to use it for uh, mulching around our blueberries. Uh, we'll also just use it in general uh, for the the garden, the main garden, uh, as mulch. Uh, just putting down that. Uh, um, just putting down the the, the, the biomatter uh, as we start to grow the uh, the garden bed. So let me quick uh, just show you around real fast. Um, so you've got the, the main box right here. Uh, the dimensions are uh, 14 by 20 inches um, and up to the top of the holes you'll see there that's about 36 inches so the entire thing is uh, roughly the box itself is about four feet tall um, so you've got uh, back here you've got the that's the main fulcrum so you'll see this part right here this is kind of the plunger that's what you use to compress the bales um, and so what you'll do is um, essentially we'll have some baling wire uh, going along the back um, the wires essentially will come down the back and out of the holes we close the door and as we push things in uh, and compress them It'll smash it down. Not too bad. All right. So essentially, the way the, the way the plunger works as it comes down, that's what it's going to look like. So we'll get it compressed down as far as we can. Lock it down. Tie it up. Let it out. Open the door. Drop a bale out. Um, not used it yet, but from everything uh, that I've read online or other uh, blogs that uh, uh, people have been using it, uh, you can easily pop out uh, if you've got enough material um, you know 30 40 of these every couple hours um, don't know that we'll have necessarily that much but we're gonna find out today so we'll add on to this a little bit later and kind of show you maybe some of the, the results of that okay so I really uh, wanted to also quickly just do a quick spin around this thing so you can kind of see what, what, what I've got um, I, I deviated from the plans a little bit, which I'll, uh, I'll post somewhere down here at the bottom. Um, so in case you wanted to build something like this, you can have it yourself. Um, so basically, um, the, the, the regular plans basically have four braces, uh, two on each side. Um, so I had some leftover uh, 2x4s and some actually inch and an eighth uh, um, lap board, or I'm sorry, subflooring. Uh, that I use. I don't necessarily recommend it because this thing now weighs it weighs a lot. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I got a hand cart back there. I'm actually going to use that uh, to tote this thing around. Um, so what I've got in it is a box of screws. That's what I paid for. Everything else, all the wood was uh, scrap wood. Uh, I bought a couple hinges. I bought the latch. Um, so I think I kind of did the math on it a real, little bit. Um, looks like if you were to go to the lumber store, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, uh, buy you some sheet wood, some uh, plywood rather, and some 2x4s, um, the hardware and everything, uh, it'll, it should cost you, it shouldn't cost you more than 50 bucks. Um, shouldn't, I think it, uh, the plan, if I, if I measured it out right, should take you about, uh, oh, I don't know, six or so 2x4x8s and uh, maybe a sheet of uh, either like uh, three-quarter or half-inch plywood and uh, you got all the materials you need. It's real easy. Um, again, I'll put the link um, for the plans. Uh, I think it was uh, TCU. I'm not really sure the, the, the original link, but uh, anyway, I'll post that. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, all right, we'll see you soon. All right, so we're out here at our big pine patch. We got the baler set up and so we're gonna do our best to get all this up. There's Mrs. Cleb. 
and the other Mrs. Cleb. Miss Cleb. All right, so the process is basically we're gonna rake, make us some piles, and we'll start baling. So I'm gonna set the video up and kind of show you the process of what to do. First time, so we'll see how it goes. And they didn't pull in tight like they were supposed to. Come on, put something else on that. There's the press bail. All we do is reach through, pull out. Mine comes out. <laughs> and you got yourself a bail. Boom. Turned out better. I'll be Vanna.